Hi, welcome to Coolidge Corner's Week 3 Mindfulness Challenge, only for the holidays. My name is Kristen Sweeney, and today I'm going to be leading you through a desk yoga practice that you can take. So, um, most of the workout is actually going to be seated in a chair. As you can see, I've got my really ordinary average office chair here that I'm sitting on. So, to begin, we want to start by addressing a really nice posture. A lot of times, um, when we're seated at a desk, we're doing something either writing or, in most cases, we're at the computer. And so what starts to happen is we start to slouch after a while we get tired. And then we start to reach our heads forward and strain to see the screen. And we are here typing. And this is the kind of place that we're stuck in. So the first thing I want you to do is to take your hands and just pull away the flesh from underneath your sitting bones. And if you're seated all the way, seated all the way back at the back of the chair, scoot a little bit forward so you can sit up tall. Nice long spine. And then take your hands and start to rub them together. Just creating a little bit of energy. You want to rub them together about 30 seconds or more until you start to feel some warmth. So we'll do that for a little while. Once you feel a little bit of warmth between the palms, keep going. Rubbing your palms, you're rubbing your palms. And once you feel a little bit of heat between the hands, go ahead and release them. And you're going to cup them right over your eyes. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. So this is starting to undo some of the strain that we get from staring at those screens and the blue light all the time. And then allow your eyes to be really soft. Keep your hands over your eyes and let them open. Just staring into blackness, almost like you're looking out into deep space. Take two more big, full breaths in through the nose. And out through the nose. So we're going to work from a top-down approach with the body today. So next thing I want you to do is bring your hands to the back of your neck. And then just walk your fingertips up until you feel this little pit. It's kind of where the skull and the neck join one another. And very lightly, just take your fingers and give yourself a little massage there. And start to feel maybe that your head can move more freely. Again, this is undoing some of that forward head posture that we tend to get when we're staring at a screen or even looking down at our phones all the time. And then cup your head in your hands and draw your chin back just a little so the neck is nice and long. Two breaths here. Good. Keep the neck long, release your arms. And then keeping the neck long still, you're going to drop your chin into your chest and go over to the right. And back through center. And over to the left. And back through center. Over to the right one more time like this. Through center. Over to the left. And through center, full circle this time, over to the right. As you go back, lift your chin a little. Over to the left. And center, one more circle this way. Lift your chin as you go back. And then we'll take two circles in the other direction. So over to the left. Lift your chin a little. Over to the right. Neck along as you look down. And one more circle this direction. And then pull your head back up to center. If you need that reminder, you can take your hand to the back of your head to keep the neck long. And then drop your right ear toward your right shoulder. Take your right hand and just place it on that transition space between your neck and shoulder. And then if you'd like, your left hand can flex down toward the floor, a little wrist stretch. 
as well as a deeper sensation through the neck. Two more breaths here. And then take your right fingertips to the side of your head, help it back to center. We'll go the other way, left ear to left shoulder. Left hand comes across to that space between neck and shoulder. Extend the right arm if you wish, flexing the palm. Keep both shoulders soft away from the ears. Keep your jaw easy and relaxed. Two more breaths. And then take your left fingertips to the side of your head, help it back up. And really sure. Next, we'll get into the shoulders a little bit. So we're going to take big, exaggerated shoulder rolls. So send your shoulders forward, way up by your ears. Pull them way back, and then let them settle down. Three more. Forward, up, back, and down. Last two. Forward, up, back, and down. And forward, up, back, and down. And then inhale, squeeze your shoulders way up by your ears. Exhale, let them drop. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. That one's really great for when you get an email that you don't like and you're feeling a little bit stressed out about it. From here, take your hands and just place them on your knees. And notice if at any point your posture has gotten a little bit slouchy. You can always just pull the flesh away from your sitting bones and remind yourself to have a nice long spine. On an inhale, slide your hands back and lift your chest up. And on an exhale, slide your hands forward, hug the belly and round your back. You can even drop your head. Inhale, so this is like our cow pose that we might do in all fours in class. We won't do that today. Exhale. Hug the belly and round the back, drop the head. Inhale. And exhale. For the last two, inhale, relax the shoulders, lift your chest. And exhale. And just one more, inhale. And exhale. And then come back to a nice tall seat. Reach your right arm in front of you and flex your hand like you were saying, stop. You're going to take your left hand and bring it right across the center of the palm so that when you push back, you're stretching the wrist rather than the fingers. Hold about three breaths here. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. And then take your left hand and move it a little higher. So now it's above the line of the fingers and we are going to get into a finger stretch. So you pull the hand back. About three breaths here as well. Remember to keep your face soft, your spine long, your feet firmly planted on the floor. And then release the hand and we'll take it the other way. So the fingers point down and your left hand is going to just come across the back of the right one. We're stretching the opposite direction. Good. And then shake that out gently. We'll do the other side, the left hand forward, like you were saying, stop the right hand, cuts across the center of the palm, pulls back to stretch the wrist. Three breaths. And then walk that hand a little higher above the line of the fingers. So we're stretching the roots of the fingers as you pull back. One more inhale. Good. One more exhale. And then release the hand. Point the fingers down toward the floor. Take your right hand across the back of your left one. Give yourself a little stretch in the opposite direction. And you might be feeling this just in the wrist. You could feel it into the hand or even all the way up into the forearm. And then shake that out. 
interlace your fingers. I love this one. It's good for the wrist, but also good for your brain. So you're going to start to just take the wrist in easy figure eights. Right? More of a, a warming than anything else. Just nice, easy movements. We'll do this for a while. And you'll naturally be inclined to go to the side that feels easiest for you. So probably your dominant hand will lead. And then I want you to pause and do figure eights in the opposite direction, the way that feels weird. And that's the part that's good for your brain, right? It will probably be a little clunky physically, but if you practice this sequence every day or five days a week, right, you will be a pro at this in no time. And then shake the wrist up. So now that the wrists are open, you can scoot a little more forward in your chair. Make sure you're still sitting up tall. Adjust your feet so they're right under your knees. Interlace your fingers behind your back. And your elbows can totally be bent here, not a problem. Roll the shoulders down, and instead of letting the elbows wing forward, pull them toward the back of the room behind you. From there, lift your chest, and you can stay right here, or maybe you can straighten your arms a little bit. Pull the knuckles down, lift the heart. Good stretch for the front side of the body. Often really, really tight again from that seated forward posture. And two more breaths. Good, release your hands first, let that go, shake the shoulders out a little. And next we'll come into a twist. So take your left hand somewhere on your left thigh, and your right hand can come onto the seat of the chair, or if your chair has a back, you can grab the back of the chair. Inhale to lengthen your spine, sit tall. And then exhale, give yourself a little twist to the right. Keep your belly muscles drawn in so that you're using more of your body's effort than the connection of your hand to the chair. You don't want to crank yourself into the pose. You want to gently move deeper and deeper. Twist can be really good for unwinding tension. Let's come back to the middle. We'll take the other side. So if you have been stuck and seated for a long time in one particular posture, don't be surprised if you hear a few crackles and pops. And now lift the chest. So this is the right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Left hand on the back of the chair. And then exhale to take a twist. Sometimes the shoulders want to creep up by the ears, so let them just stay soft and down the back. If you notice the head starting to jump forward at any time, that's probably just habit. I like to think of pulling my ears back to lengthen my neck. And then one more inhale here. And exhale, release, come back to center. So we're going to skip hips for the moment. We'll actually stand up toward the end of the sequence, and we're going to move down to the knees. So you can hold on if you need to, and you're just going to lift one leg up and bend and straighten your knee a few times. Nothing too complicated. doesn't have a fancy Sanskrit name. Just getting the body moving. And then find your ankle and just circle your ankle a few times. One direction, then the other direction. You can point and flex the foot. Okay, just Keeping the blood moving, circulation going. And then set that foot down. We'll shift the other one. Lift up the opposite leg. Bend and straighten the knee a few times. And then circle the ankle, one direction. And then the other direction. Right, depending on the shoes you're wearing or if it's possible to take them off underneath your desk, you might be able to really point and flex your toes, or you might just be working at moving from the ankle. Good. And then set that foot back on the floor, take a big breath in, and let it go. All right, and then to end the sequence, we're going to actually stand up. So if you have a desk in front of you, you can use the edge of your desk. I'm going to just use the back of my chair today. Put my two hands on the chair, and then I'm going to take my right leg behind me and press through the heel to get a nice calf stretch. Making up the back of the leg a little bit.
And then I'll bend my front knee, walk my foot forward, bend my back knee a little too, and lift up to try and find a stretch across the front of the right hip. So you might need to play with this a little bit, bend your knee more or less depending. But the goal is to feel some sensation around the front of the right hip, maybe down into the right thigh. Take your left hand to your left hip. You can still hold on with your right hand and just lean ever so slightly to your left. One more inhale. And then we'll switch. So bring the right foot forward, take the left leg back. Press through your heel till you find a stretch at the back of your calf. Breathing all the while, nice and steady, in through the nose, out through the nose. And then you'll play with the distance between your feet and how much you bend your knees. But the idea is, if you lift your hip bones up a little, you can find a stretch around the front of the left hip, maybe up into the, down into the left thigh. Right hand can come to right hip, left hand can hold on to your desk or your chair. Lean a little to your right, deeper stretch. back to the middle. Step your left foot forward. Last piece here. Inhale, reach your arms up. Interlace your fingers. Take a big breath up toward the sky. And then exhale, release, let it go. So last thing, if it's possible, let's take a stroll. You can go to the water cooler, just walk around the office, maybe take a walk around the block. Um, but even if that's not available, you've just accessed and got gotten reconnected with every part of your body today so you should be all set. Okay. Take an inhale and let it go. Namaste. Mm -hmm.